So I play first. That's One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Opponent tries to get into a throw, and I use the Kentai Jitsu to decide the game. Several kata, or henka of a kata, and all of them are solutions to problems we see in Tatakai and in Randori. So that means that the work today according to the methodical pyramid, is top-down. And if you want to find out about the methodical pyramid, Google helps, write Akban, the methodical pyramid, read, enjoy. Okay, so what is the top-down problem I'm trying to solve? The top-down problem is this. I'm standing with an opponent who likes to do this, or else he wouldn't catch me. Okay, so he's a judoka, okay, or a sambo expert, and he grabs my gi. First thing, doesn't have anything to do with the methodical pyramid. It has to do with fighting. Good randori, good tatakai, is to never let your opponent show me what he can do. Understand? I don't want, so if I fight, Asaf, a new stand. So I see him, I see, okay, this is what he knows what to do. So if I'm staying in the same distance and playing in the same rules, let's say he's a high kicker, okay? Then I let him do something he's good at. So in good fighting, never let the opponent show you his good technique, that's it. Here it's the same. If I wait for him to do Iponso Enage, I'm dead, okay? So I don't want to wait for him. So here are some solutions, okay? And like every solution, I just show. And in order for it to be ingrained and to get into what is called muscle memory, we have to repeat it many times. So first technique is one, two, one, two, okay? And this, sorry, I know it. One, and this might knock him out. I don't care. I use the elbow again, two gun second, and I throw. Now let's do it more and more fluidly. One, two. If he plays now, I don't know what throw he will use. So I play first. That's so what is the dictionary? The dictionary is the syllabus of Takamatsu Den uh, systems. And then this time it's Kotoryu. And it's this simple, simple kata. Okay? One, two, three. And this kata has got henka. So first of all, one pressure point. Pressure point. Because if somebody holds me, I don't want to let him show me what he knows what to do from here. Bam. I don't want it. Okay? So he holds. One, two. Hit with the thumbs to the neck. Okay? To C2. It's a very wide vertebra. So you hit the transverse process with your thumbs like this. Okay? And then he will leave. So again, pressure point pressure point, push, or pressure point, let him get near, and C2, or one, two, or one, two, but that uh, might kill him. So let's repeat all this because it's a base uh, layer of all we will be doing today. How how does he control the distance between us? If he's a grappler, he has to hold me. Okay, so now he decides the distance. So opponent grabs and tries to control the distance by either getting me near him and throwing me or far away and then he can do some something or just 
story. Okay, anyway, I want to decide the distance. So what I do is this. I try to take this hand and... And I try to do this. Right into the Q shoot. This. But sometimes... Really sorry. I'll change partners in a minute. Sometimes he holds this too hard. Okay, so I cannot do this because he doesn't let me. So here, oh, I cannot do it. And now he guesses I want to do the camp. So this does not succeed. So if I feel his arms starting to tension, what I do is this lift and punch here. Now after punching, it's too tight. I have to punch right. Uh, okay, I cannot do it like this. Where you see the shadow of the muscle. So this place is a artery, an artery. And around this artery, three nerves hitchhike. Okay, medial, ulnar, and, uh, and, and when I punch this artery, I cause damage, neuropraxis, to one of the nerves, and uh, he cannot contract the hand. So again, I do it in both hands. Lift, punch, punch. So that's enough. After this, he will not hold me. And again, one more time. He will not hold me. And then what I want to do is grab and do kibisu gaeshi. Okay? And just throw him to the floor. One more. Grab here and then do the kibisu Okay, so that's the second henka we're learning today. If I'm standing and I try to do everything and he has strong arms, okay? He holds me like this, then I cannot do anything. You see, I cannot reach him, okay? And uh, I cannot... So he creates space. He understands that I'm going to do this, and he doesn't let me do anything. And now, if he's very fast, I've got millisecond until he does the uchikomi and throws me, okay? So I'm sensitive to the way he creates distance. And if I try to do this and he opens, I help him, okay? and knock him out. That's enough to knock him out, but okay, I can do it front leg, back leg, and I will do a maigeri, okay, into the xiphoid process, and knock him out. If I want to create it myself, no problem. I don't have to wait for him to do this, okay? I kick, and I create distance, and kick, be careful. Don't go too far. I might injure you. So, one, two. One, two. Use the distance he creates to knock him out. So that's the simplest thing to do when he straightens his hands. Let's try this and move on to the next one. Achat, stein, bam, oh, stein. Okay? Achat, stein. Achat, stein. The opponent holds me. I want to move to the side of him. So first of all, a lot of violence. One, two. And then I have this hand and I trust that I can tear it apart. One, two. Now I'm on his side. Kani Bazami is a good way to emphasize. That's a technique I will practice on in sessions and I will not do in randori. Why? Because a slight misunderstanding between me and my opponent might cause a serious injury and it's not worth the risk, okay? So everything 
it's just like in the stock market. I have to protect every risk and calculate the relative risks. So Kani Bazami in training, yes. Kani Bazami in Randori, no. How to approach Kani Bazami easily? So first of all, I can jump, but it's a good thing to have a strong opponent, hold him, and just put your hand on the mattress. And here, jump and jump. The problem in Kani Bazami is when he resists. So this is why when doing it at the beginning, I just told him Kani Bazami, just so he won't resist, he won't be surprised. One, two, and three. Again. One, two, and three. Okay. And on the floor there are things I can do, but it's out of the scope of this lesson. Okay.